بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم فرینڈز ان ٹوڈے اس ٹوٹوریل ویڈیو ایم گن شو یو ہاؤ ٹو کروش دس ویلویٹ ہیڈ فار ایڈلٹ سائز اٹ اسٹارٹ فرام ہیئر فرام اٹس کراؤن پارٹ اینڈ دین دی مڈل پارٹ اینڈ یو کین سی اے لٹل بٹ بریم ہیئر ہیڈ پیٹرن از سپر سمپل اینڈ ایزی اینڈ یو کین سی دس وہ اسٹچ پیٹرن ہیئر ایز ویل اینڈ a very beautiful fancy flower but it's optional so if you want to learn how to crochet this velvet head please watch the full video so for this purpose i am using a baby soft velvet yarn it's very soft and This is the thickness of the yarn and we also need a yarn needle, cutter, measuring tape and a crochet hook for this project. I am using a 4 mm crochet hook. So to begin first of all wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. and make a magic ring with the help of crochet hook which is basically a loose slip knot so to start your first row make chain 2 chain 2 is not counted as our stitch so wrap the yarn around your crochet hook go into the magic ring and pull the yarn you can see three loops pull the yarn through first two loops and then pull the yarn through second two loops to make your first double crochet stitch again wrap the yarn go into the magic ring and pull the yarn then pull through first two loops and then pull through second two loops to make double crochet two again you wrap the yarn go into the magic ring pull the yarn pull through first two loops and then pull through second two loops to make double crochet three repeat the same pattern and make double crochet four and complete total 12 double crochet stitches after completing 12 double crochet stitches now pull this starting yarn tail to form a ring so to finish your first round go into the first double crochet stitch and make a slip stitch again start with chain 2 wrap the yarn go into this very first double crochet stitch and pull the yarn then pull through first two loops and then pull through second two loops this is our first double crochet stitch now go into the same stitch again and make double crochet two now go into the second double crochet stitch and make two double crochet stitches here like this now go into the third double crochet stitch and make two double crochet stitches here so this is the pattern for this row we are going to make two double crochet stitches into every stitch till the end of the round and we will have total of 24 double crochet stitches according to the multiple of 12 in our second round so complete this round because it's a velvet yarn so be a little bit careful about stitches don't miss any stitch or don't overdo any stitch after completing 24 double crochet stitches again make a slip stitch into the very first double crochet stitch and start with chain 2 
go into the very first double crochet stitch and make double crochet one now into this second one we are going to make our increase so into this second double crochet stitch make two double crochet stitches so this is the pattern one double crochet and two double crochet for this row so now go into the next stitch and make one double crochet then into the next one make two double crochet one and into the same two I will show you one more time into the next one make one double crochet and into the next one make two double crochet so according to the multiple of 12 we will have total of 36 double crochet stitches for this row so after completing 36 double crochet stitches go into the first double crochet stitch and make a slip stitch so now for the next row again start with chain 2 go into the very first stitch and make your first double crochet stitch now go into the second stitch and make double crochet 2 now into the third one we are going to make our increase so make two double crochet stitches here into the same stitch so this is the pattern one double crochet one double crochet and then two double crochet for our fourth round so go into the next stitch and make one double crochet go into the next stitch and make one double crochet and then into the third one make two double crochet so repeat this one double crochet one double crochet and two double crochet till the end of the round we will have total of 48 double crochet stitches for our fourth round and then after making a slip stitch make chain 2 go into the very same double crochet stitch and make double crochet 1 into the next stitch make double crochet 2 into the next make double crochet 3 after making 3 double crochet stitches now we are going to make our increased stitch so into this fourth one make two double crochet stitches now go into the next and make one double crochet into the next make one double crochet into the next make one double crochet so after making three double crochet stitches into the fourth one make an increase by making two double crochet stitches into the same stitch so into this fifth round we will have total of 60 double crochet stitches so complete your round so after completing your round again start with chain 2 go into the very first stitch and make one double crochet into the next double crochet 2 into the next double crochet 3 into the next double crochet 4 now into the next one we are going to make our increase now 
by making two double crochet stitches into the same stitch so now go into the next and make double crochet one into the next double crochet two into the next double crochet three into the next double crochet four and then into the next we are going to make our increase by making double crochet one and double crochet two into the same stitch so make four double crochet and one increase in the sixth round and we will have total of 72 double crochet stitches at the end of the round so our base is ready after completing the base I will show you the measurement which is 7 inches 7 or 7.5 inches is perfect for adult size now we are going to make the next part of our head without any increase after completing the base stop increasing start with chain 2 go into the very same first double crochet stitch and make double crochet 1 into the next double crochet 2 into the next double crochet 3 into the next double crochet 4 into the next double crochet 5 into the next double crochet 6 into the next double crochet 7 so simply make one double crochet stitch into every stitch till the end of the round and we will have total of 72 double crochet stitches as for the previous round and complete two more rows by repeating the same pattern so after completing three rows now we are going to start our next pattern so start with chain 2 and wrap the yarn and go through the stitch from the back side through the first double crochet stitch like this and then pull the yarn then pull through first two loops and then pull through second two loops to make your back post double crochet stitch one now through the second double crochet stitch go through the stitch from the back side and pull the yarn and then pull through first two loops and then pull through second two loops to make back post double crochet two repeat the same pattern go through the stitch from the back side and pull the yarn then pull through first two loops and then pull through second two loops and make back post double crochet three again wrap the yarn go through the stitch from the back side and repeat the same pattern and make back post double crochet four again go through the fifth stitch from the back side and make back post double crochet five so repeat the same pattern and complete total of 72 back post double crochet stitches so friends i have completed my last stitch is left go through this last stitch and chain two together like this and make a last back post double crochet stitch you can see a nice edge here by going through last double crochet and chain two together so always repeat this pattern like this now start with chain two go through the first double crochet stitch from the back side and make a back post double crochet stitch one again wrap the yarn 
go through the second double crochet stitch from the back side and make back post double crochet two. Again wrap the yarn, go through the third stitch from the back side and make back post double crochet three. Again wrap the yarn, go through the stitch from the back side and make back post double crochet four. <coughs> Into the next one, back post double crochet 5. Into the next one, back post double crochet 6. And repeat the same pattern till the end of the row and make one more row with back post double crochet stitch. So after completing 3 rows with back post double crochet stitches, Now make chain 2, go into the very first double crochet stitch and make 1 double crochet stitch. This is our double crochet 1. Now go into the next and make double crochet 2. Go into the next and make double crochet 3. So we are simply making double crochet stitches as regular. So simply make one double crochet stitch into every stitch till the end of the round we will have 72 double crochet stitches. So after completing two rows now we are going to repeat three rows of back post double crochet stitches for our pattern. So again start with chain 2, wrap the yarn go through the first double crochet stitch from the back side and pull the yarn and complete a back post double crochet stitch one again wrap the yarn go through the second double crochet stitch from the back side and make back post double crochet two again wrap the yarn go through the stitch from the back side and make a back post double crochet 3 into the next one go through the stitch and make back post double crochet 4 into the next one back post double crochet 5 into the next one back post double crochet 6 so repeat the same pattern till the end of the row and make a back post double crochet through the last stitch and chain 2 together as I have told you in the earlier pattern and complete 3 rows so friends you can see I have completed my 3 rows with back post double crochet stitches so after completing this now we are going to start our brim. So start with chain 1, wrap the yarn, go into the very first double crochet stitch and pull the yarn. You can see 3 loops. So pull through all 3 loops together to make a half double crochet stitch. Now go into the second stitch and make half double crochet 2. Go into the third one and make half double crochet 3. Go into the next one and make 2 half double crochet stitch increase here into the fourth stitch. So this is half double crochet 1 into the same half double crochet 2. So this is the increasing pattern for our brim part. Now go into the next stitch and make half double crochet 1 into the next half double crochet 2 into the next half double crochet 3 and then into the next stitch we are going to make our increase by making half double crochet 1 and half double crochet 2 into the same stitch 
I will show you one more time into the next one half double crochet one into the next half double crochet two into the next half double crochet three after completing three half double crochet stitches into the fourth one we are going to make our increase by making two half double crochet stitches into the same stitch like this so repeat this pattern of one half double crochet one half double crochet one half double crochet and then two half double crochet till the end of the row so you can see a little bit increase here so go into the first half double crochet stitch and make a slip stitch and now we are going to make one half double crochet into every stitch so into the very first one half double crochet one into the next stitch half double crochet two into the next stitch half double crochet three into the next stitch half double crochet four into the next stitch half double crochet five into the next stitch half double crochet six so we are simply going to make one half double crochet into every stitch without an increase till the end of the row and repeat this row one more time so friends our height is complete so after making slip stitch i have cutted the extra yarn now we are going to weave this extra yarn with the help of yarn needle so take your yarn to the back side and through any of the loop from the back first of all make a knot to secure your work after making a knot now you can weave your extra yarn through some back side stitches like this with the help of needle as you can see in the video by going through the stitches of the back side so go through the stitches from the back side I am going through a lot of stitches to secure my work properly because it's a velvet yarn so it's very easy to come out so go through a lot of stitches so for this starting yarn tail I have also made a knot and then I have weaved this yarn to some stitches in round as well to secure my work. Now I will show you the measurement of head. It's 8 inches from this side and its circumference is 10 inches which is 20 inches in round perfect for adult small size now we are going to concise our head so take a yarn and from this post stitch row take your yarn from the back side to the upside and from the other side of our post stitch 2 so then simply make a knot here to concise these two parts together like this and after joining these 
two sides together with the help of yarn needle take your both yarn tail to the inner side like this and after ta taking this yarn to the inner side make two or three knots to secure your work from the inner side as well and then you can cut off the extra yarn now this is the look for our head you can either use it like this or you can add a fancy flower or a crochet flower here add this gathered part i have added a net flower here which looks more beautiful and fancy so if you like this pattern must try it